The William Garrett house was over on Providence Road, overgrown with brush, and the developer had no interest in the house and wanted to demolish it. Historic Sugartown's founder, John Nagy, and his co-founder, Penelope Wilson, saw the property as an excellent example of a Quaker home. They did not want to see the home demolished and disappear from the landscape, so they talked to the developer and made it the agreement to have it moved here to Historic Sugartown, and then they raised the money to make the move. It was jacked up and brought over, uh, you know, rolled over here essentially, pulled um, by tractor and truck over um, creek and hill across the way, um, across Spring Road, and then it was brought to this spot. My name is Heather Reifer. I'm the executive director of Historic Sugartown. Around 1800, uh, five years before this building was built, it was only about 20, 25 years after the Paoli battle uh, that took place right down the road. So we were coming right out of the American Revolution. People were coming to this area and starting to settle. The village of Sugartown started developing around this. By 1800, it had a store and a saddle shop and a couple of families that were living here um, year round. The William Garrett House was meant to exude all the qualities of Quaker architecture of the time. The circumstances around it, however, are a little more interesting. William um, was the son of another William um, Garrett who owned a significant amount of property here in Willistown Township. And when William married Anne, she was outside of the Quaker faith. At the time, that was very much um, taboo to marry outside the Quaker faith. As a result, William was written out of the meeting. They were no longer a member of the Quaker meeting. William's father, William, was going to continue to support his son, so he built this house for William and his wife, Anne. He never gave him a separate deed, um, which he did with his other kids. He was just had this home on the property, ran a farm on it, just much like other um, people in the neighborhood, but he never had ownership of the property himself. Sadly, William passed away fairly young, he was 37, and his wife Anne and their children basically gave up any claim to his estate, what there was of it. They kind of disappear in, into the fabric of history. We don't know what happens to them after that. The building's symmetrical. If you look at it at the front, you see an even number of windows. When you walk in, there's rooms on either side of, and a stairway as you walk in the door. When Historic Sugar St Town started to restore this building, they went into some in-depth forensic analysis of the whole building. They looked at how the window frames looked. They looked at the main structure. They rebuilt the foundations underneath, um, copying the ones over at the original location. They also did a paint analysis. So they were able, based on that paint analysis, they were able to peel back the layers literally and see roughly what it looked like at the earliest period. So this house is restored to 1805. Um, so those are the colors that they found early on. So this is highly sought after, and this is actually a fairly well-to-do home. 